everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make ginger banana bread or a ginger banana loaf cake. And so this is basically a, a banana bread with some crystallised ginger and a little bit of uh, uh, powdered or ground ginger in as well to give a little bit of extra flavour to uh, the banana bread. It's also going to have some walnuts in which is optional. Um, but uh, I like the extra texture as well as the flavour that the walnuts give. So uh, it's actually quite a simple recipe but I'm going to make it uh, with as, in, as intense a banana flavour as I can by using uh, six bananas, five to go into the batter and one to go on the top. But I'm going to extract some of the liquid out of the banana the five bananas and I'm going to reduce that liquid so that it intensifies in flavour and then I'm going to put it back into the bananas before we add it in to uh, make our batter. So it's actually quite simple it takes a little bit of time because there's a bit of waiting around but other than that very very easy to make. So I've started off by lining a two pound loaf tin with some parchment paper now you could just grease the tin but I always like to line them so I've lined mine with parchment paper um, and that's uh, ready to go in. Now mine is 9 inches by 5 inches which is 23 centimetres by about 11 centimetres I think um, and if, if you have it uh, slightly larger than that then you may need to bake for a shorter time if, if it's a smaller tin than that some people have 8 inch by 4 inch tins then you need to um, potentially increase the um, baking time because the, the loaf will be sort of uh, taller basically. So anyway I'll go on to the ingredients and as I said I have here um, bananas. Now I've actually got seven I, uh, when I, but when I tested this I only had six but they were slightly larger. So I'm going to take one banana and put it to one side and in total I have um, just over one kilogram of bananas which is 2.2 pounds. So I've taken one and put it to one side uh, because that's what we're going to slice and put on the top. The, the others I will peel later. So then I also have 250 grams which is one and two thirds cups based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of plain flour. I have 150 grams, three quarters of a cup of soft light brown sugar and that's uh, a packed three quarters of a cup. I have 113 grams, one stick of unsalted butter which I've melted and that's cooling down. I have two medium eggs which would be large in the USA. 4 grams, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 3 grams, one tea, uh, half a teaspoon of salt, uh, 3 grams, 1 teaspoon of ground ginger, 5 millilitres, uh, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. I have 55 grams, which is about half a cup of roughly chopped walnuts. The size you leave them is entirely up to you, basically. I have 25 grams which is two tablespoons of demerara sugar, which I'm going to sprinkle over the top. You could use caster sugar or granulated sugar, but I'm using demerara sugar. And that's all the ingredients that we need. And the first thing I need to do is to um, get the juice out of my bananas so that I can reduce it. And um, so, I'll simply take the bananas out of their skins and you need uh, very ripe bananas for this. The riper the better basically. If they're black all over that will be fine. They'll be very very ripe indeed. And I've got some black pieces in mine and I'm going to leave those in. That will be absolutely fine. So there I have my bananas. Um, and I'm going to put those into my microwave and I'm going to microwave them for about five or six minutes 
I want them to be uh, very, very soft and for uh, quite a bit of liquid to have been uh, released from them. And I, you don't need to watch them in the microwave, but I'll come back and show you what they look like when that's done. So I have uh, microwaved my bananas for um, five and a half minutes, in fact. And as you can see, they've gone uh, really quite soft. What I need to do is to take that liquid out of that and put it into a saucepan and uh, then allow the, the bananas to drain through a sieve. So I'm going to pour that liquid into a little saucepan. So having put the liquid that I've got so far into my saucepan, I'm going to leave the bananas uh, in the sieve so that more liquid can drain out and I'll turn them over from time to time. Um, and I'm going to leave them for between 5 and 15 minutes until um, when I turn them over and press them slightly, uh, there's not really uh, any liquid coming out. And at that stage, I will heat the liquid I have um, and bring it to a boil, and I will boil it until it reduces uh, and leaves me with just about a quarter of a cup, 60 millilitres. And at that stage, we'll be ready to go on to the next step, which will be to put that liquid back into the bananas and then make our batter for the banana bread. Now, I just want to say, when I was doing the ingredients, I forgot to mention, I think, that I have 40 grams of crystallised ginger, which I've cut into slices and strips and then into little cubes. Um, and that's going to go into the banana bread as well. So, I'll um, leave these to drain. I'll reduce the liquid. And once it's reduced to a quarter of a cup, I'll come back and we'll go on to the next step. So I've now reduced my liquid and I have just about um, 60 millilitres and I'm going to pour that back into the bananas. Like that. And then I'm going to mash the bananas into the liquid until it's completely mashed. Now you could use a potato masher. But because they're so soft, I'm just going to do it with a fork. So with my um, banana mashed up quite nicely, um, I'm simply going to add into that my melted butter, which has cooled down. and my eggs and I'm going to whisk those together and then I'm going to add in the sugar as well and whisk that in So I'll put the vanilla in as well at this stage, give that a quick whisk and then I'll add the sugar in. And that's good like that. So, um, then we need to work on the dry ingredients. I 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ginger, my salt and my baking powder into the flour and I'm going to stir those around with a whisk just to get those fairly evenly combined into the flour. And then I put that into a larger bowl like that and I'm going to add my crystallised ginger at this stage as well and mix that around. And then I'm going to pour in my banana mixture like that and I'm going to fold that in to the flour and once it's almost folded in I'm going to stir in my walnuts as well and I have my oven preheating now at 180 degrees Celsius that's 160 Celsius with a fan 350 Fahrenheit and with that almost mixed in I can see some ginger I didn't use that going I put in the walnuts and stir those through as well and that's good like that and if you can see a little streak or two of flour it doesn't matter because as the banana bread bakes uh, that flour will uh, absorb liquid which is seeping out. So then we can put that into our prepared loaf pan. like that and just gently level it off and push it into the corners like that and then we can put our slices of banana on the top and so I'm going to slice the banana that I have remaining And I'm going to take the banana and I'm going to lay the slices down the side, the long edge, overlapping them.
and do the same on the other long edge. like that. And then the last thing to do before they go in the oven is to sprinkle my demerara sugar over the top and I'm going to put some other bananas and some on the exposed batter. just like that and I'm going to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it for between 50 minutes and 70 minutes so 50 minutes to an hour and 10 minutes I'll test it after 50 minutes with a skewer and if it comes out clean it will tell me that it's done if it doesn't come out clean I'll test it again five minutes later, five minutes later, five minutes later until it comes out clean and that should be done within the 50 to 70 minutes. As I said if you use a different size loaf pan the timings may vary but once it has uh, tested like that I'll take it out of the oven and leave it for about 15 minutes in the pan then I'll take it out of the pan and put it onto a wire rack to cool completely and once it's cooled completely, I'll come back and show you the results. So I baked my ginger banana bread for 68 minutes. It wasn't ready after 50 minutes or 55 or 60 or 65. So I, I uh, left it in and took it out at 68 minutes and a skewer came out clean. So I took it out, of, I left it for 15 minutes and then I took it out of the uh, pan and put it onto a wire rack so that it's now cooled and I've cut a couple of slices and as you can see I can still see some pieces of banana uh, which is how I like it but if you want it um, if you want the banana mixture to be smoother you can actually uh, use an immersion blender or something um, until you've uh, processed the banana into a, a pure a complete puree with no little lumps in whatsoever and uh, that will bake slightly differently uh, but it will still be quite nice and moist so um, as I said this is what uh, my one looks like and I've already had a taste been chewing on this piece but I'll have another taste now It's very very good. Has a quite an intense banana flavour, which is very good, and I also get uh, just a, a hit of ginger, and uh, occasionally just bite into a little piece of that crystallised ginger, and into the walnuts as well, which give it an extra texture and flavour. So this is very very good. Um, I can quite imagine myself having some more of this uh, this evening uh, with a some butter on as well perhaps but very it's easy to make as as you can see it takes a little bit of time but I think it's well worth the effort so if you like banana bread give this one a go um, and the ginger adds a new dimension to it so that's going to be it for this recipe and I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my youtube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an I that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking.